what we talked about. If your outside hand is holding locked on, she won't be able to bend, yeah? Yep. So shorten up your right rein. No, right not the right. Yeah. Oh your other right. Right? Flex right. Yeah. Check your bag now. Good. Now leg wheel her out so that she's not cutting her turn around that last jump there. Right? You want to make that circle so it arches more so you're nowhere near, like you don't have to do kind of a sharp turn around that jump, yeah? Right, yeah. Now, she's falling in with your shoulder. Do you notice that? Yeah. What should you do? Sure. Now, use your inside leg to push the horse out. Do that yeah. in trot, yeah? Off you go. Now, she doesn't want to go forward. Give her a little sharper kick. Yeah, good. Now, don't hang on your face for balance. I want you to just kind of keep your knuckles close to the mane. Okay. Just put your hands closer to, yeah, yeah, and let her go forward. Now check your diagonal. Out of girl. Now inside leg, push her out. But use your outside seat bone to weigh her out in the direction you want to go. Okay. So put your weight on your outside bum cheek. Yeah, or stand on your right stirrup a little bit. You like that inside diagonal, don't you? Which one should you be on? They practice this. <laughs> I made them practice all last week. Yeah, okay. That's better. Good. All right, so next time you cross the center line, you're going to turn up the center line coming up the middle towards me and change the, change the rein. Okay, hands together. All right, and, and move. Yeah, in, move her out a little bit without stepping on the dog though. Come on, Finn. And change the diagonal. That a girl. Now, let's see you use your opening inside rein while you're trotting on this side. And let's see you leg yield her out. See, she's happy. She can reach down now. Not digging into her back anymore. Inside leg, push her out. And then go trot. Is that saddle a little shorter in the seat? Yes. Oh, it is a little bit smaller in the yeah. seat, so it might be uncomfortable for you, right? So slow and steady. Don't post too far forward so you don't hit the pommel. And transition back to walk. Clamp your thighs. Marching. Now, if you want her to walk with energy without breaking into trot, you swing her rib cage from side to side. So one leg pushes and then the other leg pushes. So that is like swinging a bell. Right. Her rib cage becomes the bell. So your job is to use your legs but I don't want your legs coming off to do it. I don't want to see you doing it. It should be like this, right? Like this, you push, push, push. Not like, don't yeah. be doing that, right? <laughs> so you want to be just kind of swinging the rib cage with just your calves from side to side and watch, plan your circle. Go around that stool next time, around the mountain block, around the orange cone like you just did, but make sure you go a little further towards the center of the ring, okay? I can move some of that stuff. Look how nicely she's arching. Yeah, sit up, stretch up. Yeah, outside rein. Keep her out to the outside of the circle almost. Now go trot. Slide those legs back. Slide them back. No kicking. Slide and hug. Slide and hug. A little bit further back with both legs. Okay. Lift up that right side. Oh. Okay. So you're not planning where you're going. No, no, I was. In yeah, yeah this is the muscle that you're fighting against is the thickness of the neck is from here to here yeah now when your hands are a little bit wider just say the width of your hips are a little bit wider than your hips like just hold them wider right now and keep your fingers close i want your fingertips to touch the palms of your hands and not hard relax your hands yeah very good and your thumb should be in a notch like that so you don't lose your rings when you're when you need them they don't slip through your hands, yeah? Now just widen your hands a little bit and get a feel of your mouth, yeah? So a little bit wider, yeah? And now close your legs and widen your hands like you're opening a newspaper. Yeah, now close your legs so I can squeeze. Yeah, and hold her a little straighter. Yeah, so you want her to be straighter, yeah? So when she, see how she drops her hands? Oh. So if you go wider, right, the bit stays flat in her mouth and the pressure's on the sides of her face. So close the leg and push the whole horse to the bit, but widen, not down. Elbows relax, your arms are too strong. I just want them so that they're relaxed. And then, so the wider your hands, now close your legs and push her through. 
Yeah, but don't turn to me. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I'm going to teach you that a little bit. All right, so I just want you to flex here. See, so when you flex here, you want to pivot. Flexion happens here at the last vertebrae. Okay, it's called the pole axis. So you want to flex right and straighten. Straighten. Soften your right arm. Soften your right hand. There. Good. Now flex left and then straight. See, and she's lowering her head. So this is this is how low I want her to carry her head here. Because then she has no underbulge. Now she's going to start using her back. Okay? So this is important. But see, this hand is much stronger than this hand when you're riding. So I want you to feel your contact. That's the, yes, right there. That's the feel you need to have, but don't open your fingers. I want your elbows to bend. Let them hang, just like dead weight, so the reins feel like they're pulling your arms forward. That's the feel you need to have there, so that you can always feel her mouth. And you need to be able to make her chew, right? If you make her chew, she'll be softer in here, which will loosen up in here. So your outside hand has to squeeze as if you're squeezing the juice out of an orange, right? Or squeezing the water out of a tax sponge. The orange works great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so now you're gonna do opening rain. So open the car door a little bit, your Lamborghini. <laughs> Mind you, those ones flip up. I think those are dull wings, aren't they? <laughs> that doesn't apply. <laughs> and this hand, yeah, there you go. All right, now flex left. And right hand, make her chew without dropping your hand. Raise your hand so that it's always going towards your hip bone there. See how you got the head dropping? She'll be moved. The correct shape. She looks like a thousand dollars better. So I want it to be a million dollars better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. When it starts to arch like a bridge in her neck, then she starts using her back. Now, go ahead. Close both your legs and squeeze into trot. I don't want to see any kicking. I want it to be hugging. Right now, no, now that right hand. No, no. But see, she stuck her head up to go trot. Now back to walk. Try it again. You have to keep her round through the whole transition. So I want you to use your hands like you did in the walk, opening right rein, left hand make the horse chew. Yeah, and then close your legs. Alternate your leg aids in the walk. So one leg, other leg, one leg, other leg. Make the ribs swing. Let's see how fast of a walk you can get without getting in trouble. And pick up your outside diagonal, not inside. Yeah, shorten up your reins a little bit so it's easier to control what she's doing. Flex right, buffalo. A little bit more. I don't want to see the underbow, so stretch your neck down. The, her neck should be level with her back. Okay, so try and get her head neck down so that she is not bulging underneath. Flex right more, opening right rein. Slow her down. Right? If you're using your right leg to push her out and she just goes faster, that's because you're not holding her back enough. You must hold her back for her to go out and stand more on your outside stirrup and hold her back. Clamp your thighs. Sit. Okay, so same thing. For your transitions, preparation is always done sitting. Okay? Now you have troubles with your sitting. Why do you think that is? Okay. When you're riding, you're pressing down on your stirrups. Okay? So when you press down with your feet on your stirrups, you get an equal and opposite reaction of bouncing out of the saddle. The harder you press down with your toes, the more you'll pop out of your saddle. All right? So I want you to feel like your feet are in your seat bones. Okay? That's where your feet are is you're in your seat bones. Feel where your seat is and relax your ankles. You've got your heels way shoved down, which is fine, but it makes you pop out of the saddle. It, so ride with your feet like this. Look at me. So even though your heels are down, you want to ride with your feet going like this. Okay? Not this way. We don't want this. We want loose ankles so that your feel, feet feel soft. All right? And stand on your seat bones. Okay? Otherwise, I'm taking your stirrups away. Opening right rein. And go. Flex right more was better, but still needs more. You still need to exaggerate. 
Try and get her to reach down between her knees. Yeah, get her head way down and she won't have time to lift up her head so much when you go into talk. Just for practice. She's not used to keeping herself round. And, you know, she's not used to stretching her back muscles. So this is going to take some doing. Yeah? And push her out. And when you're ready, trot on. Exaggerate. Better, better, keep going, keep going. Yes, super! You did it! Change your diagonal. Good, I would shorten up the reins a little bit. <coughs> okay, now prepare your canter by sitting and slowing the trot down so that it's comfortable to ride. Sit and think slow jog. Slow jog, yeah. And it, yep, it's like a stretch her down. Slow jog, hold her in slow jog. Don't let her pick up speed. Inside leg press, outside leg slide, and go. Inside leg on, outside leg slide back, and go. Oh, yeah, so, okay, so walk. So here, in order to make her canter, you leaned forward and you chased her a little bit to try and get the canter. Sit up, and if she's not listening to your legs, give her a little sharp kick. You've got spurs on, use them. Hold her back though, do not let her run away. Right? If she gets all strung out in the, you know, by trotting too fast, it's very hard for them to pick up the canter. Right? Chasing them does not work. Shorten up your reins and hold her back. I want you to think like you're going to go backwards when you ask for canter. So trot backwards as you ask for canter. I don't literally want you to trot backwards, but I want you to accept it slow trot. Canter depart and go. Good. There you go. All right, and walk and do it again. This time, don't lean forward. Okay, you do not need to lean forward to pick up the canter. Okay, so sit back, hold yourself upright, look ahead. I want you to look kind of up at the top of the pillars, right? Lean back a little bit more. You don't need to be tipping forward. There, now you are upright. You should be upright like the pillars. Now, inside leg on, outside leg slide. That's it. Oh, you see? Now she went to do it, but you didn't maintain your leg on, okay? You didn't keep your foot on the gas pedal. In order for her to canter, you have to, you know, like, you know, if you're at a stoplight and you want to go 60 kilometers an hour, you have to press on that, ga on that gas pedal for the car to go there. So it's the same thing here. You want to press, press more strongly with your inside foot forward, be quite clear with where your legs are, and sit back, stay as far away from the main as possible right now. Lean back. Yes, there. That's where I want you. Now you're sitting upright. Now you look more elegant. Yeah? Inside leg on, outside leg back. Said no Italian guy ever. Oh, Italians would love they to be elegant. They want to be elegant? Yeah. Oh, God, that was good. You missed it. That's what Italian is, is to be elegant. Yeah? Upper body back. They dress well. They, they eat well. They you know, smoke well. Yeah. They're beautiful cars. Right? And walk good job make her chew on the outside strong ring finger on the outside yes keep her chewing but see in order for it to work you have to keep her flexed right yeah, yeah. you're using that left ring finger because you're thinking about it but then you forget to hold your right contact yeah so you have to have right contact when you use your outside ring finger okay or inside contact i should yeah, say gotcha. yeah shorten up that right rein about three inches so it's not so hard to keep her flexed right yeah okay. stop 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 Remember what I said about this cone? I know, I know, sorry. I okay, was... sit left, that's okay, that's okay. All right from there, see, now you can fix it because you stopped. Yeah. If you let her keep walking, you're way past the cone and then you can't fix it. So push your chest back to the rail, don't turn her head. Do not turn her head, push her chest. You want her chest, yes, flex right though. Flex right, okay. yeah, and then push your chest. Yeah, good. You might want to use a little stick on her shoulder. Because she's kind of so stuck. you have to go balance with inside and counterbalance. So they have to be equal, okay. so that you you keep it level. You keep it from falling over. It's the same thing with the arms, right? You want to be able to turn. So you got to turn your shoulders, mm -hmm. and so that your hands, one hand's a little bit further forward when you turn your shoulders, right? Because your shoulders further forward. Yeah. And then, but they're still even. Okay. On her mouth. 